Dave Smith's a priest who found fame as the fighting father. His community work's been praised and had the full backing of the church. Tonight, the knockout punch. They want to get rid of every trace of me. Does that hurt? Yeah, 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 it's very hard to take. Father Dave Smith once had the church in his corner. If he wasn't preaching, he was punching for God. But this man of the cloth, a multiple Australian of the Year nominee, is now in an unwelcome and unholy fight. I can't bring myself to accept that it's over, you know. It's been such an integral part of my life and I think such an integral part of this community's life for the last 31 years. The Sydney Diocese of the Anglican Church is forcing Fighting Father Dave's boxing gym and its horde of followers onto the streets. Father Dave, what does this say about religion? Oh gosh, um, I think, look, I think the established church is in trouble. To understand how it came to this, we need to go back. I've never seen a worse kid than I was in terms of being angry, aggressive, difficult. This self-confessed punk rocker says he started on the wrong side of the tracks. He later found religion dedicating his life to it. And the Anglican Diocese found the perfect fit for their fledgling father, Sydney's Dulwich Hill. It really was like a war zone. You know, every year we'd see people die and go to jail and... Uh, the ones who we were working with, particularly with the boxing program, were generally doing better. They were the ones who were getting through. For more than three decades, this unlikely team of boxing and religion brought hope. It also brought fame and power for Father Dave, who doubled as a professional boxer. But his forward-thinking ways didn't please everyone. And the bell for this fight sounded when the priest divorced his wife. I was given sort of six months to get my marriage back together or uh, recognise that I'd be terminated. How did that make you feel? It, it's hard. I mean, for me, this isn't just what I do. It's very much who I am. Sacked for his so-called sin, booted from his church home and told he was no longer one of them. Father Dave shared his story to a current affair. We have a pension for kicking people when they're down and it's not, um, not encouraging. Some of our loyal viewers came forward to find the unemployed fighting father a new home. Now it's just me and my little girl and, um, you know, look, I'm deeply grateful. But now the church is again testing Father Dave's faith. If I could box my way out of it, that would be great. I, I just got to have faith, you know, God will provide something. Hands off our gym! His boxing family will be locked out, the famous Dulwich Hill gym closed forever just after Christmas. Mate, it's sad, you know, a lot of these kids and people that come here, their church is here. Yeah. There's a good mixture here, young and old, and you walk in here and you respect, you learn. When they don't have a place to go to, they don't have a place to belong, when they feel like they're isolated, this is the place they come to. Look at it, it's just buzzing. Good. Christians, one of many who say they were saved by Father Dave's gym. There's not a person that doesn't know about this gym and what he's done for the kids. The kids he's taken off the street, kids that have had drug, addict, um, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, they've come from broken homes. Father Dave was always there for them. This is the only community gym that I've been involved with. It's a not-for-profit sort of set up with, you know, everybody's got a, you know, a place here. It's an open-door policy. You can be any age, any sex, any nationality, any religion, you know, any sexuality. Everyone's included and everyone gets a shot. Trainer Michael Redman is calling for compassion. Once Dave sort of lost his position in the church, they were looking to reclaim the space. You know, it seems that it's, you know, the community is going to lose out because of personal reasons. But this fight appears far from clean. 
A letter reveals the church wants the boxing ring left behind so it can donate it to a not-for-profit community group. It's not right. You know? It's sad in a way. Turning 60 soon and for most of my life I've been here, you know, doing this every week, three times a week, working with the kids. Father Dave's given up hope of forgiveness but is praying this isn't the knockout blow. Yeah, really, we just need someone who believes in what we're doing to say, hey, we've got this space for you, and um, so we can continue the work. The Boxing Club has started a petition to save the gym. In a statement, the Anglican Church says a lease won't be extended and has committed the space to a disability support agency. The full statement is on our website.